Hello everyone, and welcome to the beginning of a new adventure here in Isle 2 Summervic 1946 with the Bat mod. Today we will be getting a new journey as a bomber pilot for the Italian Air Force. Right here we've got a new pilot name. We'll be flying as Mario Il Duce Vespucci. I think it's a very fitting Italian name. And uh, let's go straight to it. So for this campaign we will be doing, I found some nice stuff on mission for today. Uh, this guy named Shakali, I think is his name, creates a lot of DCG campaigns for bad, and well, a couple of them had to do with Italy. And so I'm like, hmm, Italy was the second most voted for option in the poll I put out for what minor nations we should fly for next, so I'm like, you know what, let's see what he has to offer. And so there was a Italian invasion of British Somaliland campaign and a Greco-Italian war campaign, and I decided to do the uh, Greco-Italian war campaign because, I don't know, it seems more interesting, um, to me at least. And I also saw a comment that uh, stated they'd be interested in seeing a bomber campaign, and well, I'm taking that to heart. We'll be flying an Italian bomber. So, that being said, we'll be partaking in the Greco-Italian War in 1940, starting as, I'm assuming this is probably going to be the equivalent of a second lieutenant. And, uh, yeah, make sure the difficulty settings are all correct. Icons and everything are the way I like it. Yeah, it looks good. So as you can see, there's only one operation here. So I don't know how long the Greco-Italian War campaign is. But, uh... I guess we'll, we'll find out. So let's... we're not gonna be born in Miami, because... You know, doesn't make sense. And, you know, there we go, something like that. We'll just be one of these, I don't know, doesn't really matter too much. And in regards to the plane, so I have done some testing looking at the different aircraft we have to fly here. And I've decided to fly the Kant Z 1007 bis uh, mainly because it has that iconic triple engine structure that is pretty unique to Italian aircraft and it's better than some of these other ones that they have here plus it actually has modeled gunners and stuff because I've noticed with the bat mod some of these bombers you can't control any of the gunners, but for the Kant Z 1007 bis, the gunners are controllable. So I will be messing with those. So without further ado, well, let's generate. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Alright, and we're back. So, I just spent the last hour and a half troubleshooting what went wrong, and it all came down to the fact that I was actually one version of DCG out of date, and that was what was screwing everything up. But, I got it working, and we've got our first mission briefing up here. I'm just gonna put the pain of troubleshooting behind me here. So. That being said, let's take a look at what's going on here. So it looks like we're going to be taking off from Taranto in Italy and attacking a Greek airfield northwest of Athens here. The day is October 28th, 1940 at 10 a.m. with hazy weather. We'll be flying the Kant 1007 bis at 4,000 meters. And the distance to target is 114 kilometers. Now, I don't think that's the actual distance between Taranto and this target in Greece, but I believe this map is not to scale. 
Oh, that's fine. That's fine. So we will be flying wingman of Severino Filippi. Filippi. Uh, we are Mario Vespucci. I don't know why there's a T there. I'm gonna ignore that. So yeah, let's. We're gonna be carrying twelve one hundred kilogram bombs. Let's take a look at the roster here. This makes sense. Very little experience, and obviously no one has a kill. Let's take a look at our plane, shall we? It's right here. We got this three-engined monstrosity right here that we're going to be flying for the duration of the Greek campaign. Now, I'm not sure how well this thing stands up to some abuse, so if we get a wing blown off by flak, that'll be that, but... Hopefully we can avoid getting shot down by anti-aircraft fire, especially at 4,000 meters in 1940. I don't think the Greek have that kind of black power. But yeah. With that, let's get to the runway. All right, so we just spawned in. Got a nice little cockpit here. Start getting our engines started here. Okay, that's one, two. Let's see if the third one can get going here. Everyone's having trouble. Oh, oh. Yeah. Alright, so this is definitely going to be a change of pace from what we've been doing on the channel here. But, you know, first time for everything. Let's get prepped for a takeoff here. Altitude, Please love me some glitches there. Let's ask for permission to take off here. Let's get this bad boy off the ground. So that would be a successful takeoff. Now that we're in the air, I will uh, skip forward a bit and uh, show you something interesting about this plane once we're at transit altitude. Alright everyone, welcome back. We are actually kind of close to the target at this point, but that's how long it took this sorry plane to get up here. 
some friendlies have been making contact with the enemy elsewhere, but we have yet to see an enemy aircraft. So, let me show you uh, something about this aircraft. Now, this is not unique to this aircraft. Other Italian bombers have the same thing, but... Look at this abomination of a bomb site. Like, what is this? I kind of know how it works at this point, but still. Kinda, kinda janky, kinda get it. But if you see here, there's uh, that top little circle thing. From my best guesses, that is uh, where the first like bombs start to hit, or like where the last one's gonna hit. Maybe I'm not sh sure. Perhaps it's actually, uh, so the first one on the bottom is where the first bombs hit, and the top one is where the final bombs hit. That's my best guess. I did some testing in the Quick Mission Builder to see, like, how it kind of works, and I at least know that bombs will be hitting if you put it somewhere in between these two, so. That's the best that I know how to use it. And we will get to use it here shortly. So, kind of close to the target at this point. Let's kind of speed things up a little bit. Oh. Alright, the flak has begun. I think I can see the target down there. Yep. There's our target dead ahead right there. Alright, well. Here's to uh, not getting shot down by Flak. Let's see. I thought we were attacking the airbase, but it doesn't look like we're lining up for that. Yo, yo, where, where are we turning, bro? What in the heck is this? What is going on right now? Okay. Time for the autopilot to stop taking control now. Here we go. Oh, I should have done this way earlier. Crap. I'm paying for my mistakes. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Alright, that was a bit anticlimactic. I didn't get things the way I wanted them to. Would have been something like this. But let's see where the bombs go. If they actually even hit the target. Oh, jeez. Talk about missing way off. Also, what? Or. Yeah, I don't uh, think anybody really hit their target here. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to work on that. That's for sure. That was an awful first showing. Also, okay. That is... Very sketchy way of doing things. Alright, well. Not very glamorous or climactic. 
such as the life of a bomber pilot, but yeah, now it's just a long journey home, and I'll catch you if anything happens, but I think uh, next up might be the landing. See you later. Alright, welcome back. We're coming in for a landing here. At our home airfield. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, my angle of attack here is definitely way too high. Way too high. Attenzione! Bombardieri! Ora una! Il circuito! Il circuito! Yeah, this is definitely not proper procedure, but we're gonna make it work. <laughs> oh boy, he's... okay. This ain't an I-16, I gotta be a lot more careful! I see we've had our first landing accident of the series. Thankfully I did not die, and hopefully this guy does not run into me. Well, that's one way to land. At least the plane's still mostly intact. Missing a bit of the left wing, but that's alright. Well, let's quickly walk away from our mistakes and check out the debrief. Must be quite a lot that happened, and, and a lot happened indeed. So, while we were just doing our thing... Some ground fighting in Albania, for some reason? So, Yabro yeah, Anson shot down by Fiat. More ground fighting here. Massive dogfight happened between some Fiats and whatever a PZL P24 is. Looked about even, 4 and 4. Um, looks like some Imam Row 37 bis, okay. Yacht. Uh, and one of the other bombers by Block MB-151. Hey, that's one of the French planes that I was gonna end up flying if I had survived. Looks like it's being flown by Greeks right now. It definitely looks like some of our other bombers took a lot of casualties here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it was too great for us. The We lost a lot of bombers. Not from our squadron, but another one. And it looks like somebody managed to sink that ship with a bomb. But that's all that happened from our entire bombing run here we sunk a single cargo ship not the greatest bombing run but definitely have seen worse at least we got a ship out of it and we lived to fight another day so with that let's see where we will be bombing tomorrow I also say the DCG takes longer than your average DJ. Okay, here we go. So it looks like we're going to the same place, actually. We're going to be bombing the same place. The day after, it's so October 29th. We're going right back. And it's pretty much the same mission, just another a new day. Well, maybe this time we can actually uh, prep things properly and 
hit some targets. But until then, as always, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.